good at them though, for being your only two. <laughs> That's the only two I tried. I know. Yeah. But well, they're sort of those characters are sort of uh, fun to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, I just found it hard to put a hat on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> his ears were in the way. <laughs> So I had to paint his ears back a little bit. <laughs> but uh, this one for a girl, you couldn't go with the same one for a boy, of course, you know. You had to have something. Based on that. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. indeed. Now, a lot of those are the same. This was when I did the class at Careers Plus. This was some of the work that the girls did. And they, I, I, I was really pleased with their work. And this was their final piece uh, that they showed at their graduation. Um, that was the 12 mat one. Big. Yeah. Now these are special orders. Uh, like I said, uh, I've got the names on there. It's people's houses that are torn down. This one was lost in a fire and they wanted to preserve the memory, I guess. Uh, same thing with those. They were just special orders. This one was the one I told you about uh, my husband's grandparents mm -hmm. and where he was born too, actually. Mm -hmm. That's the one I made for his father. And he, he just loved it. Yeah, that's really nice. Because everyone who came in, you know, we had something off the pass. Because a lot of times the older people didn't take a lot of pictures. No. You know? You know? And uh, when he saw that in the matter, and he said it was so realistic, it yes. was just like the whole, uh, the old house was, right? And, uh, little details. Yeah, yeah. And of course these kinds, these kinds are fun to do because you can change them around or whale tails coming up everywhere there. <laughs> these, these, there's a lot of those are fun to do, you know, you just relax and do it. Uh, I find a little longer when you got special orders, like now when I got an order for that one, I had to sit down sort of and work out the design first, and then the, of course your color scheme or what you're going with. Yeah, that's a really nice one. So, there's a lot of detail on that one. Yes, the there's a lot of detail. Stuff. Now this would be uh, 22 by 30, you see you get much more detail in yeah. those. Mm -hmm. um, the, the example is this here. This is 17 by 20 and this is uh, 22 by 30. Yeah. You see the difference? You can add so many different yeah, features the in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, down here, if you do were to put all this down here, you would have a yeah, smother out picture actually. Yeah. yeah. Too cluttered. So a lot of things sometimes. That one there got a lot of detail <coughs> in it too. It has. It has for a little for a little, yeah. little piece, you know. But it's quite nice and quite easy to do that one. And um, and I think that one had the great bit of the Grossmoor Mountain in the background as well. Mm. And these are the arches, of course, going up the Northern Peninsula. Yeah. Those are nice. And and those kind uh, too, you you change your scenery like the, the different seasons. Even yeah. you're, you've got the different colors, you know. So mm -hmm. you can do one for fall, one for. Of course, these this is this is a fun one. Yeah. I totally enjoy doing that one because you can almost yeah. feel like you're going in through here when you're doing it. <laughs> I think you got a. It's a feeling. It goes mm -hmm. with the the hooking, you know. Oops. The same thing, there you go again. Now that's the arches, and see, notice I've got the water's darker behind, and it's more of a fallish, fallish yeah. look, you know, rather than uh, well, that one. Yeah. See, that's another different shades in the mountains, yeah. depending on how, how the light is hitting it, really. Mm -hmm. Another one here. Um, the shade, the sun is facing this way now, and the shade is on these sides. You really know? gotta know what you're doing. And yeah. it just shows you. But you know, it's funny. I didn't realize how much color is in our Newfoundland rock and hills and, and, and the whole thing. I mean, to me, I figured a, a rock is gray, right? Yeah. Uh, basically. But since I've been into that, I think, like, I, even when I drive to St. John's or drive somewhere, I'm always constantly looking at the different rocks. No, but that one's not gray. <laughs> that, one, that one's sort of a moldy or a greeny or, you know, you you find all different shades there in your Yes, yeah, yeah, it does, it does, it, it really uh, Helps you gets you to think about, it does. does you appreciate, uh, appreciate nature for sure and better. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank for you. Coming yeah. and enjoy, enjoy your company. This is the no, back of the giving us a demonstration of one of her rugs.
and how she's hooking it. As you might notice, this is the back of the rug, as we said before. And you just, just work a, have two holes across, two holes up, and like crazy. We're putting in colored rocks now, and we'll have a beautiful rocky shoreline here in a minute. No, not a minute. It'll take a little longer than a minute. But <laughs> well, let's put it as a long minute. What do you guys think of that? See, it's very simple, and it's relaxing. So, uh, maybe you guys want to try it? Mm, we should. We should. Mm. You just push all the way down. You come to a hole there, you push the whole way down. This is your hook, and that's what uh, shows you how long your loop is going to be on the front. You can, put, you can adjust this one to longer loops which I use in the edging, you know, when I'm doing the, the scenes. If I have something I want to bring out front, sometimes I'll make a longer loop. Like probably if I want this to stand out more, this, this ship, um, I would just use a, a longer loop. But on the background then you just use your lower one. So now I soon have my rock done. Are you guys ready to pick out a color and do your rock? <laughs> The crew, they saw me coming and these words came to say My dear old chap, you struck a 